surfboards and paddleboards have been around for some time now, but the Yachting Pages tried and tested day saw some radical developments of these water toys. The powered surfboards supplied by EAMPS provided great sport for the testing team with varied reaction angles. One was electrically powered, the other operated by a small two-stroke engine. Again, Jake, the yacht toy guy, was on hand to give advice. When you're riding, depending if you're regular or goofy, depends on which hand you have it on. I ride regular, left and forward. The detachable training tubes were necessary in the morning. Yeah, that no, was really cool. <laughs> I'm excited to try it again without the tubes. But more splashing fun was found when they came off later. Five being easy. Uh, three and a half, I think you could get, get used to that pretty easy. A lot, a lot of fun, not, not really for, uh, certainly not for a beginner. I think the fitness level required, I'd say probably two. Probably an electric one. I'm going to have it because it's quite noisy. I, I couldn't go for that personally, so, but if I, owned a, if I owned a yacht, I would. So, yeah, okay. <laughs> Overall, the powered surfboards were a hit with the team. That was absolutely the awesome. For a large boat, it'll be perfect, it'll be fine. For a small boat, you might struggle a bit to find space. It'll be really good for guests, especially like kids, because you can adjust the speeds on it. So. But the powered paddleboard was less well received. Uh, four, 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 okay. I wouldn't spend the money on it. The two foil boards were the stars of the show. Despite initial tumbles and their hefty price tags. I will find the guy who's gonna buy it for you. Let's put it this way. <laughs> See how they were ranked on the Yachting Pages website.